alaikum. Uh, in this uh, mini project, we will uh, learn how can we use graphical user interface to develop uh, uh, to develop a game, which is the slide game. It's a very well known game. As you can see, we will develop uh, that using two dimensional array. So this is an application of a two dimensional array with graphical user interface and object composition. So let's get started. The basic thing is that we will have an image as you can see like this and this image will be partitioned or slide into nine pieces and we will consider one cell or one piece to be the moving part in which other part can move to it. So what do we need at the beginning? We need a NetBean project which is based on, as you can see, I created a NetBean project and I have already a class called Slide Puzzle this is a JFrame as you can see and we will, I will go step by step how can we uh, do the rest of the development before th that we need a picture in which it will be sliced into nine pieces for that you can use Microsoft Paint, you can use uh, Photoshop, any software and you can download any image and break it as you can see in nine, into nine pieces for me I have the pieces here it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces. I can copy them and you need to download them or put them in your project. So you go to NetBeans, uh, switch from projects to files. And this is the name of the project that I have. This is the project that I'm working in. So I will create a new folder in there just to make things handy I will create a uh, folder called images and under images I will paste the images I say control copy so I control V and all of a sudden I have all the images from one, nine, 1 to 9 notice that I have uh, named the images from 1 to 9 image 1 to until 9.png name, this naming will help me out when I programmed and upload the images into a graphical user interface so this is the first part I have the images I switch to the project now I will start if I go back to the slide a little bit you will see this is the algorithm how can we develop the game some piece of the algorithms is already included in the graphical user interface for example displaying the board is already included uh, selecting a cell is already included by clicking so these are pieces mainly specific for the text-based or console application in which you are using the scanner or you are using the keyboard. But in graphical user interface, in selecting or entering the cell means clicking. Displaying the board is already implied because the graphical user interface is already displayed for the user without any looping or things. Maybe the, the most difficult thing here is setting up the game. Because setting up the game include how can we represent the images inside the graphical user interface, clicking means there's buttons and so on and so forth. So we will, I will go there and we will do how can we set up the game. So let's start it here. Here's the graphical user interface. So I'm going to create nine buttons. I will create one and I will I will do you will do the rest or I will show you how to create one the main thing is you drag the button as you can see I think you did that before make it large enough that would be nice the first button just uh, edit the text to be a value let's say zero and make it large a little bit uh, change the name of the variable to be j button one so keep it j button one that's fine but th the naming is important because we will relate the num the name to the place in the array and this is important uh, after that you can copy and paste uh, cv copy and you drag the next one here now this is the second one edit the text to one okay and change the variable i think it's already two you need to repeat that nine times until you finish the nine buttons. Once you finish that, uh, uh, when you finish, once you finish that, we can continue.
Okay, let me uh, do that and come back to you. Now we have <coughs> the buttons as you can see laid out. I have nine buttons, zero, one, two, three, two, eight. I will consider the cell zero is the empty in which other cell can swap with it. Uh, notice that I have named each each button with a number, so this this one I know it's number six, and this button number six. Now uh, I will go to switch to the source, and you will see that these buttons are in the down here, one up to nine. I know one, two, three at the say first row, four, five, six second row of the board, and seven, eight, nine is the last row. So I will define my board, which is a private. It should be J button to dimension array called board, and of course it will uh, flag this uh, uh, compile error. So just try to click and fix import to import the Java uh, button. Now uh, in the in the puzzle in, in the constructor this in initialize component, we will have our setup method here, in which we will set up things. Uh, for the button, uh, as we can see, the first thing let's, see, let's have it private board setup. Okay, okay. let's make it small letter. Okay. The first thing I, I want to see uh, to do is populate the board with button. The button basically is a bunch of buttons, uh, the dimension is three by three. So uh, the board uh, will equal new J button to dimension and I, as you can see here it is, I will populate the first row, this is the first row, second row, and third row, and the first row will be J button, I can use this, it will bring me here J button 1, J button 2, and J button three. This is the first row of the the port. I can copy and paste and see here six, five, four. And I can do the same thing here. Oops. Nine, eight, and here seven. So I have the board ready, as you can see. Uh, the second, this is the step. Now I have button, and this button uh, I have a board, and the board have the first each row. I know which button in the in the two dimension area, which is the board. Now the, the next one. If now if I run, let's see a uh, run for this. If I run the program, you will see that I have these. Uh, nine buttons. I can click them, but I did not uh, handle any of them. We'll see step by step how can we do that step by step. But before that, we need to upload the images to the port. I need the image in which it will be uploaded to the port. So how can I upload the images? One thing. Let's let's get back and see what is the file name of the image. The file name of the image equal dot slash images remember we put it in a folder called images so now it's under dot images and the name of the image is image and there's a number and after the, which is a number and after the number there will be dot png so in order to populate the port I need two instance loop in which I go all the, over all the buttons and for each button I upload the image inside the button. We can do that fast uh, uh, as we'll see. I will put the code and I will explain it in a second. Here's the code for uh, uploading the images. As you can see we have the popular two nested loop in which I go over all the buttons because two dimensional array I have nested loop. Now inside I will get the name I have a variable there because I have images from one to nine. I have an index which is a counter in which it will increment it. I will grab the name of the image as you can see here. Images image plus index.png so every iterator uh, iteration I will get image one, two, three and every time I, I create image icon which is a class in Java, built in class in Java and which you can use don't forget to fix import to import the required packages there and for each 
cell in the board, just say set icon and put the image corresponding to there. Now if you run, you see something weird. The image doesn't size well, it doesn't fit inside the button well. So what we need to do is an extra thing in which it's called uh, uh, resizing the image with the button so that we can we, we make uh, the image scale well with the size of the button that most probably the images are very large so it becomes it doesn't fit in the button so we need to do that okay to upload the images with the correct size after we create the image icon from the file we use this line of code in which we will resize the image with the same size of the button so we will use we'll take the image object we get another image and we call it scales instance on that and we provide the dimensions width and height of the button that we that we created during the different creation when we created the nine buttons there was a default width and height for each button we take the width and height we set it for the image to be the size or the height and width of that and we use here image scale smooth to make the image smooth and after that we set up the icon which is the image for each button this way for each button ing set icon new image icon image to the latest one and that's it now if I run I will have a nice imaging as you can see you can look at them the, you need to do some adjustment to make the buttons closer to each other in order to make things uh, work fine uh, than that now I will jump to another thing which is writing a method to swap I think swapping two elements is very popular uh, technique in which you learn an algorithm problem solving now you can we will develop a swapping two element in a two dimensional array notice that each element requires row and column so in order to swap two elements in the board up there I need four parameters the row and column for the first cell and the row and column for the second cell and basically you're gonna develop the same concept that you did in algorithm problem solving I know that the content of the of each button that I need to swap is text and image so let's here I will define a temporary text or T equal in which it will have the board of row 1 column 1 course this is a board which is a button as a matter of fact so you need to call get text to get the text here also you need an image or icon image for that board which is your row one column one dot get image oops let me get back get image get icon get icon yes and you will get the icon. Now let me see why it's here. It's, uh, not I can just fix it. Okay. Now this is that. Uh, notice that each element, each button has two things that I need to swap. The text in which I need to compare, as we will see later, and the icon I need also to move the, the image from one button to another or swap them. So in order to swap them, I need to capture the two elements in the button. Now I. I, I kept the first two uh, the first two elements the text and the image in the first button which is corresponding to the row one column one now I, w I can change that I can say board of row one column one dot I, now I need to set the text to change it set text and I will set it according to the uh, cells that is represented in the second two parameters row two column two so I will say board of row two column two dot I need to get the text from there I got the text now now I I set the text of row one uh, the, 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 of the of the button at row one column one to the text of the second set cell at row two column two I can do I, I need to do the same thing 
for the image I say set icon and I will say board of R2 column 2 get icon and I swap now for the last element which is the second cell it has to get the value of text and icon from the T and image so here's 2 2 2 2 and the text will be from T up there and the icon will be from image up there so this is the uh, we will edit the swap a little bit in a second but this is basically the swapping of two buttons uh, specifically we are not swapping the buttons themselves what we are swapping the images in the two cells we will swap them in the between two given buttons in addition to that we will swap the text note that the text will not be visible because there is an image however we are going to use it for comparing uh, between uh, the, as we can see in the